that his pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. Two balls and a strike to count. To two and two now. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here. But he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the hole. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Kevin Newman. Now the pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. 2-0. Rounded slowly to the left side. And a good throw gets him one gun. Stepping into the box, Adam Frazier. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One out, nobody on. That's taken now, and it's 2 0 to the Pirates shortstop. Three and oh now. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? Nope. No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. The first base So a runner at first with one man gone, and digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. From the stretch. Frazier leads off first with one away. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Riding in, Travis Shaw, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Travis Shaw. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. No, that missed. That's a ball. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. First delivery to him on the way. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Ready now. Reese McGuire. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Good slider there. But laid off and called the ball low. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. On the first on his own is Bell, and that ends the inning.
last half of the second set to go. Digging in, Brian Reynolds as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. More of a comfortable side from the left side. Puts the ball in play, more of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up being a natural left-handed hitter. Hard hit toward the hole. And the Pirates have their first base hit. The right field. Gregory. Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Nobody out runner on first. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1 and 1. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Has a look now. The pitch. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the good. inning. No At the plate, Jose Osuna. He'll get to take his first oh, cuts here. Osuna. He's set. Here it comes. On a rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. So the runner at first here with two that gone in the good. inning. And that'll the bring up baseman. Colin Moran. Colin Moran. From the belt, kicks and deals. Yeah. Bottom of the second here with no score. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Hey, that's a well-executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? Ready with another 0-2. And a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Clyde Washington. It's ball one. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. Settling in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As we are all set to begin the third Vladimir inning in this one. Guerrero Jr. Here comes the first pitch. Now a curveball misses inside. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Hopped up. Tyon is under it, makes the play one away. So one away in the Toronto third. And in to hit next, the speedy Billy McKinney. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught, as that'll be an infield single. Second base. Into the box now, Bo Bichette as he grounds one briskly to short. One there, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Jacob. 
First pitch of the at bat. In there for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in a big part of the field. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Batting none. And but next to the plate will be J.T. Riddle. First pitch coming. Here it is. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. High in the air out to center field. Davis is there. Two gone. Stepping in, Kevin Newman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Newman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Two and oh. Two and oh's the count. Now here's the pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Digging in now, Jonathan Davis. He flew out in his last at bat. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a liner. Foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Line drive base hit. The bat, number 13, short shot. Lourdes Guriel. To the plate now, Lourdes Guriel. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Now so that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He's Teoscar. 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. One and, two. one and two made him look silly with that one here's the one and two and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight the first baseman. two are gone now in the Blue Jays Bradley. half of the fourth and that brings up the left-handed hitter Travis Shaw first pitch on its way uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. 
Sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Hitting's the hardest thing to do in all of sport. You take an ugly swing like that, take a deep breath, step. Meanwhile here, a stolen base attempt is not going to work out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Adam Frazier. First pitch coming, here it is. One out. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Now here's the pitch. Ball. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around a leadoff walk. 3-0 is in there for strike one. The 3-1. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Now Digging in the switch hitter, Josh Bell. Here's the first pitch to him. Bell tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. Now the 1-0. Nope, ball. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. Two well count the pitch. Three balls, no strike. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Yeah. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with the changeup. The 3 1. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Now with the plate, Brian Reynolds. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. The second for one. On to first, and it's another double play. They're second in the first four innings as that one will retire the side. At the plate, Travis Shaw, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The first baseman, Travis Shaw. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive to left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Up next to the blue game. The right fielder, Randall. Here's Randall Gritchett. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. And it's one and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The one-two. 
It's a fastball that misses. No runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again, Miss yeah. McGuire. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Swing and a miss one and one. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Check swing, no swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now better. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball one. One and up. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball. But the pitcher went to breaking ball. And the hitter just fouls that one off. Two and one. No runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Rip down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Up next to the Blue Jays, the left fielder, Billy McKean. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Stallings gathers. And that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Now to the plate, Gregory Polanco. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls in one strike. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two-pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. McGuire has it. And he makes the throw to first. Polanco is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. So striding in, Jose okay. Osuna hit it hard, but lined oh, out in his first out. at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Time. And he'll step off and try and reset. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Wave that and missed, and he's behind 0-2. 
His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line to the right side, and that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now that the third baseman, Holland. So now to the plate, Colin Moran. And he'll take a look at ball one. One ball, no strike. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. So stepping in, Jacob now Stallings, as yes, he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, and two. Here it is. Popped him up. Guriel is there. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. So digging in now, Bo Bichette. He's sent to lead us off in the sixth inning. So First pitch on its way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Fouled away. The 1 1 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco coming on. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Standing in, Lourdes Guriel. He's one for two in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Ball one. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, JT Riddle, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The designated hitter, JT. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hard hit to first. Shaw has it, and he is out on the tag. So the Pirates' batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good curveball there. Gets the oh, swing and miss. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. 
Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Riding in once again, Adam Frazier. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope, that's it. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. And he falls no, behind now, 2-0. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Two, two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Hit on the ground is short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Osuna is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Randall Grichik at the plate now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch on its way. And a fastball close but ultimately ruled a ball 1 and 0. And he just misses inside with the fastball there couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitters count two and one the count and now pitch on the way swings through it for strike number two looks like he's got a good feel for that two seam fastball this far into the game he's used it really effectively tonight and yet another strikeout here his 11th of the ball game and this one in now, Josh Bell, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Wind up and the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Davis is there and he has it for the first out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brian Reynolds. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's down. That's the ball. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. -oh. 
Duvall, no time. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. The 2 0 on the way. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So a runner at first now with one away. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Has a look. Now the pitch. One pitch on its way. No, that's outside. Ball. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batter. Next will be Jose Osuna. It was a single for him in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One and up. Fouls this one off. Two out with the man at first. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Number 10. First pitch on its way. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Now that Striding into the box, Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. In for strike two. His slider has been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Stepping in for the Jays, Billy McKinney will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Osuna is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Stepping into the box, Colin Moran. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The 1-0. Line toward right center. And there's a base hit. So there you go. The possible time run aboard here to kick off the home half of the eighth. Now back it. Hector. Hector.
Into the box, Jacob Stallings. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And he's out on a strong throw. And he'll pull into second with one away. The batter, number 15, designated hitter, Yankee Riddle. At the plate, J.T. Riddle. And I believe perhaps a balk has been called here. Yes, it has. And that's going to move the runner up to third now. We're still just one away. Getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Set and the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. No hits to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Fouled off. Swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Now that Stepping in and ready for another shot, yeah. Kevin Newman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First delivery to him on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Font. A six foot four inch right hander. He throws a four seam fastball, a curve, a slider, a sinker, and a splitter. He set the 0 1. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Davis is there to make the catch and a great job of pitching as they strand the potential tying run at third. set for the start of the inning and now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup and stepping in Bo Bichette he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate Michael Feliz enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth Michael comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing and one I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Uh -uh. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Uh -uh. 
No contact there, and one it's three. one and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. And he had him set up perfectly there as he's not even close to touching that pitch. And on four pitches, he becomes out number one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Hey, newsflash. Think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 325 sign down the line. And he is in at second base with a one out double. The bat, number 13, short uh, Mortis Gurriel. At the plate now, Mortis Gurriel. As he'll get caught chasing a bad oh, one what? there at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Feliz, a native of the Dominican Republic. He throws a four seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Striding forward now is the DH to Oscar Hernandez, trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. A ball and no strikes. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Oh, fooled him badly there. I mean badly. It's one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Two and two. Here it is. Struck him out. So it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So here's Adam Frazier. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. That's your top. Adam Frazier. From the stretch. And that's in there for strike one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Here's the 0-1. High and deep to right center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses ball one. Giles, originally from the state of New Mexico, he throws a slider, a four-seam fastball, and a two-seam fastball. The 1-0 is taken for ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2-0 as they bunch him up inside. It's 2-1 now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings. And that one completely tied him up. Hit sharply on the ground. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. A better field. Standing in now, Brian Reynolds. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. The 1-0. -oh. 
There's a slider that can't catch the outside. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. 2-0 and count and the pitch. This one's flared out toward left. McKinney coming in. He can't get to it. This one's down. The batter, the right field, Gregory Mohawko. Stepping in now, Gregory Polanco, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. The 1 0. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Davis will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Ready for another shot now, Jose Osuna. He's the last chance with the tying and winning runs on base, and two men gone here in the ninth. Giles is ready. Here's the first pitch. Here's a line drive. That'll tie the ball game and maybe more. Reynolds is digging for home. And raise the Jolly Roger. The Pirates are going to walk off winners. Yeah, when he stepped into the box, he was thinking about shortening his swing, finding a way to make contact and score that tying run. But he does even better than that, finding a way to drive the winning run in as well. Watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Well, when you rack up a whole boatload of strikeouts like he did here, there's not much of a debate to be had. He was fun to watch, and I'm excited to see how he backs it up next time. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Pittsburgh came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Michael Feliz pitches well enough to get the W, so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.